Hi, I'm Jeff and welcome to my shop. I recently was able to spend some time sort of reorganizing, um, changing the way I store some of my tools and supplies and I was able to clear out, uh, I think you can barely see this sort of uh, metal shelf unit over here. I had a second one that was right here uh, and it was mostly full of stuff that seldom got used. It was really, really inefficient. So I was able to move that out of here and I'm now gonna take the opportunity in this project to build a uh, cabinet that's going to go right here. I'm going to build it a little higher than a standard size cabinet and it's going to have a work surface on the top of it. So there's always a shortage of horizontal work so surfaces in every shop. Uh, as I'm standing here next to my hand tool cabinet, this space underneath has never been used uh, terribly effectively. My current thinking is I'm going to try to put a low desk under there uh, with some additional storage in that so I can sort of sit there and draw projects and working on, you know, getting out the, the layout, etc. But that may change. Uh, so look for a future project on what it is I end up deciding to do there. Probably a desk. Uh, but for both, I was able to get a big slab uh, of maple uh, butcher block. That's an eight foot piece. I cut that in half. So this cabinet's going to be four feet wide. This desk cabinet, whatever, is also going to be probably four feet wide. I, I may adjust that a little bit as we go. But um, these are going to be built out of plywood uh, to make this project accessible to everybody. I know there's a lot of different ways you can do the joinery. I'm a huge fan of using the domino for cabinets, but I'm going to use just simple Craig screws since everybody can get those. It's quick. It's plenty strong. Um, and that's going to let me get this done pretty quickly. So the current plan is to do oak for face frames, doors, drawers, etc. to match some of my other cabinets here in the shop. So with that long preamble, uh, let's get on to building this thing. Thanks for watching. This cabinet will use adjustable shelf pins so that I can move the shelf and here I'm drilling the holes for those pins. Okay, so I have these two cabinet boxes, they're done, they're nice and square. Um, I brought them together, brought them up against the wall, which is nice and square. Whoever put this wall up did a really good job. Um, but I got these, the front faces all squared up. There's gonna be a single face frame that's gonna go on this entire unit here. And I'm just gonna run a couple screws in here just to secure these together. Then it's gonna go back against the wall. I'm gonna find the studs and run a couple screws through these uh, guys here, lock it in place. Then I'll be ready for the face frame, doors, and the top. So, couple screws, lickety split.
My next task is to rip to width all of the stock for the face frame as well as for the door frames and panels and then the toe kick piece that goes underneath. I'm using some really nice white oak stock that I bought rough and milled to prepare for this use and I'll attach a link to the video showing how I do that. So I'm joining the face frame of domino joinery. This could also be done with pocket screws, mortise and tenon, uh, and any other number of processes. After putting the face frame in place, I screw it in from the inside with pocket holes that I drilled there earlier. At the router table, I use a matching pair of cope and stick bits to do the joinery for the door frames. With the first bit, the inside of every piece gets run to create the groove for the door panel, as well as the molding that will be on the inside of the door. After switching bits, I do the ends of each of the rails. This will create the tenon that goes inside of the groove on the styles to join the two halves together. Next I cut the plywood that will become the actual door panels themselves. The holes for the European style hinge cups are cut with a 35mm Forstner bit.
Here I'm adding a hole for the plug of a power strip that's going to go above the cabinet and is going to take advantage of the outlet down inside of the cabinet. I cut the 8 foot butcher block slab into two pieces with two passes on my track saw to get a nice clean edge. In order to get a clean through hole, first I drill a small hole all the way through using that to center the Forstner bit, which I then drill in from both sides. That prevents a blowout and a big, ugly, nasty hole. The top is screwed on through holes that were put there prior to assembly. The holes in the front of the cabinet are widened out to allow for wood movement in the top without breaking those or causing any cracks or problems. Here I'm adding some oak hardwood edging to the front faces of the adjustable shelves. The pre-finished toe kick goes in place with some 18 gauge finish nails. So that brings us to the end of this project. So I now have this nice uh, cabinet with tons of storage space in there, but maybe more importantly, this nice horizontal work surface. Uh, so this is at 38 and a half inches in height, so quite a bit taller uh, than my workbench over there or my assembly table. So some processes are going to be much more comfortable to do at this height. Uh, I've got three inches of overhang on the front so I can use clamps uh, mm -hmm. to clamp pieces down if that makes sense. Um, next up is a desk. So I decided it is in fact going to be a desk. So hopefully that'll be my next project. I'm going to ideally try to get that done to post that next Friday. Uh, next, I've also decided I'm going to do some upper cabinets here uh, to take advantage of this space so that's not wasted. And I'm now starting to look at this guy over here and wonder if there might be a better solution there. But in the meantime, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully you'll get a chance to watch the desk project and the upper cabinets. I didn't realize this was going to be a series, but that's kind of where we are. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to subscribe down below, like, comment, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.